Hi guys, Ryu here with Naritude for Blender and let's talk about Gnarl Crate and Panel Tools in new Hardups Mercury. It's a fresh release, I think it's a week old, maybe not even that old. And we got a lot of cool stuff coming in, but I want to talk about these uh, three things today. Now if you go to Operations, right, and Mesh Tools, well, let's go to a Face Mode, you can see these uh, four options. Now they're quite old, they've been there since like you know, 1900s in Hardops, since forever. But they got an update, so they actually do different things now in new Hardops than they did in the previous uh, releases. Also they've been moved, so you don't have to go so deep in the menu anymore. You can just go here to EM Macro, which is the same thing. And you can create some you know, cool stuff like you can see on these cubes with with ease, like with few clicks, literally, no, no hustle. So let's let's go. Now, if you don't have box cutter or hardups, I would suggest getting a bundle. You know, there's a link in the video description to the uh, store of Master Z on 1001 on Gumroad. So check it out if you don't have it. So let's go to face mode and inset it, right? Let's go to Q and EM Macro and just click. Now, by default, you're gonna see those four. Um, sort of insets and by holding control and moving your mouse left and right you can increase or decrease the size of the walls the thickness release control and you can change the depth it will not go outside so just an inset and with mouse scroll you can increase or decrease the amount of these cuts right so you can create something cool like this which is pretty awesome. It's fantastic for making decals, you know, like a sci-fi flooring or something. It's pretty awesome. Now let's check Gnarl. Gnarl is um, accessible by holding control and clicking. Same thing, so scroll up, control, hold control and move. But you also have F, and F will flatten the faces and do something like this. Then control. It's pretty cool what you can do with it. Another tool is a panel, and panel you need a knife for it, so I'll do it with box cutter. I'm just gonna cut a panel, select the faces, and shift click it. This is gonna create like a inset sort of edge panel. Now, options here are S to scale it, and also A to shift between two modes, right? Two modes with uh, A and S to scale up and down this edge inside. Now, if you do the same thing with Q and Alt, now that now the panel is, you go to Q and Alt click it, and that's actually really awesome. That's my favorite, because that's an outset and inset, which is fantastic, because even with box cuts, you can't do an outset. I mean, you need hard ups for it, right? Because when I cut it, correct? And then simply um, go to X and inset it, right? And let's move it up a little bit here. And then go to live and select it. And I have to go to shift pool to actually access my outset. So it's a lot of steps. And the difference between them is simple. I mean, the um, this one here on the right side with the boolean, you can control the depth of it after you apply it, right? Now this one is baked, so once you you know confirm it, that's that's it. But my favorite thing about it is that you can actually control the depth in and out. So that's just brilliant. But there is more to it. So if I hold control, right? Let me zoom in closer. So let me grab another cube. I'm just gonna grab another cube. It's gonna be easier to see. I'm gonna make it bigger like that okay check this out so i got those faces right and i go q alt and then outside it then hold control and move my mouse to the left and i can scroll my mouse to add or deduct these um, uh, edges so i release control and scroll my mouse and now if i hold control again and move my mouse with the scroll right so i scroll up and down i can change the profile on it so I can go in or out, you see? And you can release control and move it around. Until you confirm it, you're fine. So you can still keep adjusting it. Right? So it's pretty cool what you can do with it. 
Then of course, you can select it again, do the same thing, inside, right? And press S to scale it. So, lots of possibilities with this one, I think. It's really interesting what they did. Let me apply uh, weighted normals and let's uh, apply some hard edges to this one. I mean sharp edges, sorry. So you can create some really interesting shapes with it, with ease, you know, and it's just um, two clicks, you know, so easy. I, I think it's brilliant. And you can keep playing with it, you know, or stack the effects, because if I hold control, right, let's reverse this. If I hold control and do something like this, right, and then select only these and then do the same thing. See what I mean? It's pretty cool. So that's it for this video guys, hope you enjoy it, drop me a like and subscribe if you did, and I'll talk to you in the next one.